All right, Shalom. Shalom. It's the brothers from the DMS North Carolina camp back with another video. Before we go any further, I'd like give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the head apostles, great millstone, for teaching us truth according to the Bible, and who rule well, in peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. And with that, we're just going to jump right into it like we always do. All right, this is Matthew chapter 1, verse 21, and it reads, And she shall bring forth a son. Con, and who's that she is talking about? Mary, the um, the mother of Lord Yahweh Go ahead. And thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. Con, and that's who the world England calls Jesus Christ. Go ahead. For he shall save his people from their sins. Kind of said he should save his people from their sin. And who's his people? His people is talking about the nation of Israel. And you get that in Hebrews 7 and 14. Kind of, we're going to prove who the Lord's people are. Because popular contrary belief, the one who's the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, Lord Yahweh, he didn't come back to save everybody. He only came back to save his people from their sins. Mm -hmm. This is Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14. Mm -hmm. For it is evident that our Lord... Kind of our Lord. I'm talking about the nation of Israel, Lord, not the whole world. Go ahead. Sprung out of Judah. Kind of, so he came out of the tribe of Judah, the head tribe of the nation of Israel. Go ahead. Which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. Kind of, so Lord Yahweh said, go back to Matthew 1, 21. So he came out of the tribe of Judah. So he's from the nation of Israel. He's a Hebrew Israelite. Go ahead and read that again. This is Matthew chapter 1 verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. Mm -hmm. And thou shalt call his name Yahweh Yep. For he shall save his people from their sins. Kind of he's going to save his people from their sins. He's only going to save the nation of Israel from their sins. Because we're the only ones that are given the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible. So we're the only ones that can sin. Get that Psalms. Psalm. Then you get that Acts. And then we're going to prove what sin is. Okay. Psalm what? 147, 19. 19. Yeah, so um, just a quick lesson. You know, bring these scriptures out enough. But you know, you got a lot of bug outs out, bug outs out here that can't figure it out. That the Lord only is coming back for the nation of Israel. And starting with his elect. Go ahead. This is Psalms 147, verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. Kind of his word, this you know the scriptures, you know that's the that's the word, the word of the Most High, you know. So if he showed his word unto Jacob, and Jacob's the progenitor, the progenitor of the twelve tribes of the, you know the his twelve sons, and then his sons are the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel. Mm -hmm. Their sons and their sons. Go ahead. His statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Kind of his statutes and his judgments unto the nation of Israel. And get that Leviticus 26 and 46. So he didn't give it to the so-called white man. He didn't give it to the, you know, Jacob's name was later changed to Israel when he wrestled the angel. But it said that he showed his law statute commandments to the nation of Israel. Not to, you know, to Moab or, you know, Esau, Edom or these um Ammon, these um Dihaz East Indians, these Israelis, Yahweh Shemashai. Didn't show his word onto anyone else. Go ahead. Let me start at 45. No, 46. All right. And this is Leviticus chapter 26, verse 46. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel. Come on, these are statutes, judgments, and laws which Yahweh Shema Shai made between him and the children of Israel. Read the rest of it. In Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. Come, so in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses. This is the account where the Lord gave us the law, you know. In Mount Sinai, so the children of Israel was there. Mount Sinai, and he gave us the law, statute, commandments of the Bible by the hand of Moses. And only the children of Israel was there, so we were the only ones that received the law. There was no other nations down there. We had some other um, Egyptians down there as the slaves, you know, because they were carrying all our gold and stuff. But, you know, he said, read that again from the top. This is Leviticus chapter 26, verse 46. Mm -hmm. These are the statutes and judgments 
and laws mm -hmm. which Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel. Time with him, the Most High Yahweh made between him and the children of Israel. You know, the children of Israel were the, um were given the promise and the covenants and the, you know and all of that. That's who the that's who the Lord's dealing with. Get on um, Acts five. Are you finished that psalm? Finish that psalm first. Okay. This is Psalms chapter 147, verse 19. Mm -hmm. He showed his work unto Jacob, his statutes and his judgments unto Israel. Okay, we just proved that in Leviticus. We got we got the um the context, like the people like to say nowadays. Context just means with within the text. Go ahead. He has not dealt so with any nation. Huh, so how about share my strike and dealing with none of these nations? It's only dealing with the um, nation of Israel. Get okay? Amos 3 and 1. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel. No, O children of Moab. O children of Israel. No, O children of Edom. O children of Israel. Con, so hear this word, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because you're the true children of the Lord, you know? This word is for you. Go ahead. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, God, You. Because so Yahweh Shema Shai brought the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, you know? He didn't deliver the um the Egyptians out of the land of out of the land of Egypt, you know? He delivered the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that were in there suffering hard bondage, being oppressed in the land. That's why we need a savior because we're being. History repeating itself, and we're we're here in captivity again in America because we went off. Which scripture gonna get into that? You know how we went off, and Yahweh Bashemashah is punishing us, and that's why we need saving now. You know we need saving out of the hands of our enemies. Ready? Mhm. Mm started the topic again. This mm -hmm. is Amos chapter three verse one. Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you. O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, mm -hmm. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Con, so of all the families of the earth, Yahweh Shema Shah has only known the nation of Israel. He would the you know, that's that's why he's only this 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 you know this Bible is all about the nation of Israel. You know, it's all about, you know, Good news coming to the hopeful elect, you know, in the, you know, in the one third. And, you know, bad news coming to two thirds of these so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that want to follow the ways after these heathens, you know, these other nations. Mm -hmm. Finish that, Amos. You got a preset? No, we're looking pretty good. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, will. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. Come, that's what he's doing now, you know. Yahweh by Shimon is like, is our, it's our heavenly Father, is our heavenly Father, you know. So you know when you, we're His children, we're the son to the Most High. So when we went off, when you know, just like you have a, you got your children now. If you, you know, your dad when you got in trouble, you know who might beat you, might take something away from you. And that's what Yahweh by Shema Shai did to us. That's why we're here in America serving captivity. Because we went off serving these other gods. And that's why we're here serving our punishment. But now Yahweh by Shema Shai has us standing back on our feet again. And we realize that we're the chosen of Israel. And we're getting our heritage back. And we're calling the name of Yahweh Shai. Go back to the um, songs. Yeah, fan songs out. And then get. Yeah, yeah. This is Psalms one, chapter one forty seven, verse twenty. Mm -hmm. He has not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgments, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. God, and as for his judgments, they have not known them because he says, therefore, he's going to punish us for our iniquities. You know, that's why they don't know the judgments of the Lord because they weren't given the laws. And I do got a precept. All right, because he, he just said that. In Psalms 147, 19, he has not dealt so any nation. Mm -hmm. So this is Isaiah chapter 40, verse 17. All nations before him are as nothing, mm -hmm. and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. Count all these other nations are less than nothing, you know? 
Like, that's why Yahweh by Shema Shai ain't dealing with him. He made this world for the nation of Israel's sake. He didn't make it for the, you know, these other heathen nations. Of course, he knew that if we gonna, if he made the world for us, that we we're gonna need slaves and um, all these other things, you know, people to build up our kingdom, servants to bring us things, you know. That's why he made us lords over these other nations. I mean, you can read that in Second Ezra, um, the sixth chapter, which we're not gonna get, but you you can um, take the time and read it. You know, these nations are nothing, you know, less than nothing, even vanity. Get that Acts 5 and 29, mm -hmm. and we can close out with that. This is Acts chapter 5. Verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey the most high rather than men. Come on, that's what we're doing. We're obeying what Yahweh by Shimon Shai and what these scriptures say, you know? We're we're obeying that it clearly says that he only came for the nation of Israel and we're not gonna preach anything else, you know? We're not gonna be trying we're not gonna be man pleasers. We're gonna be well pleasing to Yahweh by Shimon Shai. Okay? The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh And, you know, the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you know? That's why in the Old Testament he says, I'm the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. He didn't say he's the power of, you know, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Moab, and and, Eph, and Moab, and Ammon, and all of them. No, he said he's the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Then he went down to Jacob and his 12 sons, and his 12 sons between became tw 12 great nations, you know? Go ahead. The power of our fathers. The power of our fathers raised up Yahweh, mm -hmm. whom you slew and hung on a tree. So, okay. And Lord Yahweh, once again, that's who the world England calls Jesus Christ. That's who the Lord raised up to be our Savior. Go ahead. Him have the Most High exalted with his right hand mm -hmm. to be a prince and a Savior. To be a prince and a Savior. Go ahead. To who? For to give repentance to Israel. And to give repentance to the nation of Israel. Because we're the only ones that was getting the law, statutes, and commandments of the Bible. So that's the only reason why we need to repent, you know? And the word repent means, means to turn back sorrowfully. Go ahead. In forgiveness of sins. Kind of forgiveness of sins. Get what sin is, First John 3 and 4. And we're going to get what sin is. And then we're going to close it out, you know? Yahweh Bashiram Shai. The Most High of Yahweh raised up with glory Yahweh Shai. To redeem the nation of Israel and have them give them a chance to repent. We need a savior, don't we? Go ahead. This is first John chapter three verse four. Whosoever committed sin transgressive also the law. Mm hmm For sin is the transgression of the law. Come on, so you're breaking the law statute comes command members of the Bible, that means you're sinning, you know? And that's what sin is, you know. Yeah, seeing these pastors in church is what sin is. They ain't gonna pull that scripture out. Then I'm like, well, you know, when you ain't doing something that don't feel right, that's what sin is. Like, like it's crazy. These pastors are outrageous. Right. That's why the scripture say y'all to be the most high rather than men. Kind of, and that whosoever is talking about the nation of Israel, because the law says the commandments, which the brother proved was given to the nation of Israel. Yep, that's right. But, um, you know, getting closing statements. That's it. You know, with that, hope brothers been that fight, you know, just bring a couple of scriptures out, you know. Your brothers come in the truth, you know, make sure you take your notes and things like that. You know. But um I hope brothers been that fight before we go any further. I'd like give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and his only begotten Son. Yahweh by Shimei Shai. Double honor to the head of apostles, the great millstone, for teaching us the truth according to the Bible, and who rule well, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect the nation of Israel. Shalom. Shalom.